The first cuneiform, also known as a medial cuneiform, is the largest of the three cuneiform bones. It articulates with four bones. Anteriorly, it articulates with the base of the first and second metatarsals. This forms two tarsal metatarsal joints. Laterally, it articulates with the second cuneiform, forming an intercuneiform joint. Posteriorly, it articulates with the navicular, forming a cuneonavicular joint. This is the inferior surface of a left medial cuneiform. At the anterior aspect, there is a tuberosity that serves as the attachment for the tendons of tibialis anterior and peroneus or fibularis longus muscles. At the posterior aspect, there is a tuberosity for the attachment for the main portion of the tendon of tibialis posterior muscle. This is a medial surface. It is quadrilateral in shape. At the anterior inferior portion, there is a smooth oval impression that serves as the attachment for the tendon of tibialis anterior muscle. The lateral surface contains an L-shaped articular facet that runs along the posterior and superior border, that is for the second cuneiform. At the anterior superior aspect, there is an oval-shaped articular facet for the base of the second metatarsal. This articulation is held together by this Franck's ligament. The anterior surface is kidney-shaped or renal-shaped for the base of the first metatarsal. And the posterior surface is triangular-shaped with the base inferior and the apex superior. This articulates with the medial facet of the navicular.